Now that we've understood the device architecture from a code guard security perspective, let's discuss programming, debugging, and code development topics that directly affect your use of these features. Device programming overview. Several programming options exist for programming and erasing protected segments. The user should note that performing programming operations when code guard security is enabled follows a set of rules. In the typical case, segments with lower privilege levels will not be able to program segments with higher privilege levels. However, a lower privilege segment may be programmed by a higher privilege segment unless the lower privilege segment has high security level enabled. Note that the full chip erase option removes all programs and code protection from the device. Source code debug overview. Let's take an instance of a developer using ICD2 in circuit debugger to debug code in a device which has a boot segment, a secure segment, configured and protected. Let's assume that general segment has not been code protected. In this case, as the user steps through his code in the general segment, normal operation ensues and the user is able to see the instructions he stepped through in the unprotected general segment. However, if the code entered a protected segment, debug operations are restricted to the developer. These restrictions are pointed out on this slide. For instance, breakpoints are ignored in a boot and secure code segment. Code development support. Note that microchip tools MPLAB IDE and MPLAB C30 have special support built in for using code guard security features. These features were available starting in MPLAB IDE version 7.41 and higher. Also, the MPLAB C30 compiler supports code guard security starting from version 2.04. Several enhancements are planned to these tools in MPLAB IDE version 7.50 and MPLAB C30 version 3. You will also note that there are several libraries that are available for the DSPIC and PIC24H family that support encryption routines. Finally, uh, there are a few code examples available on our website at microchip.com slash code examples. While basic features such as configuration bits and macros have been implemented in the versions shown on this slide, future versions will add capabilities such as detecting a code protected device so as to not accidentally erase it without user confirmation.